writer Dylan Thomas Music Ollie Fox Director Brendan O'Hay A reviewer Emma Pritchard It was The Watermills' first professional production when the theater opened its doors back in 1967, so how fitting that Under Milkwood should return to the venue to mark its 50th anniversary year. And, with a cast led by the talented and versatile performer Alistair McGowan, The Watermill knows how to celebrate in style. Under Milkwood may have long been described as a play for voices but in stage enactment, it comes alive as a play for people, not only the characters and cast who portray them but for the audience, too. With director Brendan O'Hea's simple staging combined with the intimate nature of the 220-seat Watermill Theatre, and the fact that this 19th-century timber-framed venue is the name would suggest it is a former working mill gently creaks like boats caught in a breeze, it's almost impossible not to be transported to the fishing village of La Regub, where the action takes place, in two 50-minute acts and through the intelligent, laden descriptions that he is famous for. Thomas tells the stories of 50 of La Regub's inhabitants, laying 24 hours of their lives and innermost thoughts bare for the audience to laugh at, sorrow over, judge and, perhaps, even relate to. O'Hea's, as per Thomas' original performance, centers around a cast of just six. It's a tough call but a challenge that the cast not only live up to, but exceed, with obvious enjoyment. Take Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama graduate Ross Ford, who portrays the inner plottings of wife poisoning Mr. Pugh with a surprisingly warming charm Lynn Hunter, who captivates as the tormented love lost Captain Cat and Caroline Sheen, who you may recognize from the 2012 film production of Les Miserables, and who couldn't be more convincing as the hoity-toity Lord Cutglass one moment, than the sweet-voiced mother of many Polly Garter, the next. For Charlotte Ollery, Under Milkwood is her first professional production since graduating, although you wouldn't realize she takes on each of her characters with confidence, with the widowed Mrs. Ogmore Pritchard depicted with particular flair. Stefan Seneth, meanwhile, is an absolute joy to watch, with his myriad facial expressions allowing him to effortlessly, and humorously, switch between being the oversharing postman willy-nilly to portraying the suggestive and sensuous May Rose Cottage. Expect to laugh, a lot. Last but by no means least, is McGowan, who takes the role of the omniscient and omnipresent narrator or voice, executing the lengthy, frequently tongue-twisting, script with faultless precision and voice control. An energetic, electric and, above all, a fun portrayal of Thomas' insightful, drama, and deserves more than this short run. Runs until Saturday 4 November 2017 Image Philip Tullander Milkwood, The Watermill Theatre, Berkshire writer Dylan Thomas Music Ollie Fox Director Brendan O'Hay Reviewer Emma Pritchard It was The Watermill's first professional production when the theatre opened its doors back in 1967, so how fitting that Under Milkwood should return to the venue to mark its 50th anniversary year. And, with a cast led by the talented and versatile performer Alistair McGowan, The Watermill knows how to celebrate in style. Under Milkwood may have long been described as a play for voices but in stage enactment, it comes alive as a play for people, not only the characters and cast who help.